first of all, I would like to express my joy at being awarded the Quaston Medal by the School of Theology and Religious Studies here at Catholic University. I note that uh, Johannes Queston was a member of your faculty for no less than 41 years, from 1938 to 1979. For myself, I cannot claim the same longevity, for I taught patristics at the University of Oxford for a mere 35 years, <laughs> from 1966 to 2001. But during those 35 years, I made constant use of Quaston's classic multi-volume patrology, and I regularly recommended it to my pupils. Quaston, along with other Catholic patrologists of his generation, Jean Danielou, Henri de Lubac, Yves Congar, and others, has served as a creative inspiration, not only to members of his own church, but equally to Christians of other ecclesial communities, and not least to us who are members of the Orthodox Church. So, with all my heart, I take ad advantage of this present occasion to express my gratitude to them all. Also, I would like to express my gratitude to Father Paul McPartlin for his fair, balanced, and witty exposition <laughs> of the Ravenna document. When he stressed the need for us in our ecumenical dialogues to listen to one another, I thought of an incident in my favorite radio program from my student days, The Goon Show. <laughs> uh, in one occasion, the telephone goes and Harry Seacombe lifts the receiver. Hello, he says on the telephone. Hello, who's speaking? I can't hear you. Hello, who's speaking? And the voice the other end says, you are speaking. <laughs> oh, he says, I thought the voice sounded familiar. <laughs> and he puts the receiver down. Now I hope that our ecumenical dialogue has advanced beyond that particular stage of communication. When I was at the Orthodox Catholic Ravenna meeting, one thing in particular struck me, and that was the presence everywhere of the Italian police. I have never been at a religious meeting in which the police were so numerous. That started from the moment of arriving on the Italian soil. As I was driven from Bologna airport to Ravenna, there was a police car with lights flashing going in front of the car in which I rode. The police were there outside the hotel where we were staying, outside our meeting place at the church of Santa Polinari Nuovo, along the road between the two places. When one wanted to cross the street, immediately there was a police officer striding out in front, stopping the traffic, enabling you to go over. They were everywhere present, invariably courteous, but I asked myself, why are they all here? Had they received warning that our conference was threatened by terrorists? If so, 
there were, in fact, no disturbing incidents of any kind.